While you watch or listen to the following, please consider this. Everything you hear is a lie. Now these two here, oh, they thought they were slick. But they would be found guilty of five out of seven charges. One including murder. This playlist is called When They Lie. We just want to thank everyone in the community for all the support we've seen. We felt so helpless and seeing everybody out here really looking and helping out really means a lot. So tell us what happened tonight. Oh, okay. From our yard. It was cold. I was going to make a fire. There's so a lot of witness in this area right here next to our house. I open up the back gate. I'm throwing wood, bringing it inside the house. My wife's inside. She was actually wrapping gifts, so we thought it was a good idea. And they got our youngest to go outside and play with chalk on the, the back patio. Do not let them go on the dirt in the backyard and keep them close. So I was playing with chalk, and I came to the house. I saw them there, the one house. Came back out, I didn't see him now. I immediately went back in, asked my wife, did you see the boys? She said, no, they should be outside playing with chalk. I said, well, I didn't see them. So I came back outside and I started searching my backyard. I searched the whole thing. I realized that I left the gate open and I panicked, came inside the house, searched the house, me and my wife. Once that had not pan out, I got in the van, I looked down the street in both directions, it was getting dark, getting cold, and I got in the van and I hit a bunch of corners. I went down this street, I turned my light on, I searched, I searched, I called their names. I talked to a gentleman on the street on the other side over there, he didn't see me. So then I came home and I told my wife, we need to call the cops. Uh, it's getting dark and I need help, we gotta get going. So I called the cops, the cops came. First thing they did was tell us to stay in the house so they can get a hold of us. And they had us just sitting there, and we wanted to keep searching. But everybody came out in droves, and I wanted to thank you guys that night, but we couldn't go outside. The cops told us the best are out here. The best are out here searching. And we appreciate it, and nobody ever could tell, we could never talk to anybody. And that was the issue. We just want to thank everybody. We really want to and, thank you uh, guys. Please, if anybody has seen them, please call, let somebody know. It, it called the cops, called California City, the City Police Department. Call them and let them know what you've seen, if you see anything. Our boys, they, they are going to be rambunctious, okay? They are going to be here in this area. And I really would like to go in the houses, but it's not because I want to invade people's privacy. I just want to know if make they sure. make sure. That's it. Because I, go ahead, I'm sorry. If you got any questions. Oh, no, you're good. Oh, okay. I, I was just going to say, you know, this is the first time we're hearing from you guys, and I can't imagine what you guys are going through. I can't even fathom it. Um, for you guys, for people who are thinking uh, that there's some kind of foul play involved, um, you know, we just spoke to the biological mother. She says she had a conversation with you guys um, and that she thinks there's some kind of foul play involved. That she thinks you guys did something. And that's understandable. What's your, what's your response to that? That's understandable. I would think the same thing. Yep. I mean, that's exactly the point. And if we can find our, find our babies, then guess what? That's, that's no. And that's all I want is to find our babies. That's it. And I talked to her this morning, and I really wanted to tell her that I am completely sorry because we were entrusted with her children, 
and they came to us and they became our children and we named them and they are they are our children and so we want them back so please if y'all could get back on your what you guys are doing we we'll should we should be able to take a hold of somebody they took all of our tech so they wanted to i guess uh, just rule us out which makes sense that's part of the investigation so that's pretty much it have you guys um you talked to the police all last night yes um what so you guys willfully gave them your everything yes the car yes did they get it how did they get a search warrant did, did I, guys, I, I, no I don't see why they got one but they got one yeah, we would have let them take one, anything but... we would have them take everything we let them come in and search with us we we asked them to come do that what did they take just tech and that's it like our phones from the house they have today Oh, well, uh, I guess you can try to answer that or... Answer it to us, yeah. Okay, so, into the, into the... Okay, and I guess... I don't even know. I see. Yeah, we seriously felt like we needed to be out here. We did. Uh, again, we were told the best are out here looking already. Just to stay put, they have more questions. There was literally a pop with us the whole time in there. He was he had to sit down. We would ask him to go help. They had to sit he down. Said, nope. He said no. We got the best out there. So we it's need not, you guys here because we have more. I questions. don't want you guys thinking we, we didn't try. We actually we looked tried. before we called we the police. Looked, yes. And I imagine the uh, mind-boggling part is the search for information. What happened? Where are they? Yes. Et cetera, et cetera. And we're, yeah. And, and just so we are able to present the information correctly, um, at what time did you guys notice your kids went missing? And at what time were they reported missing to the police? It's about, I, I believe, I think it was about 4.30, 1 It was getting dark, like I said. Five-ish. Five-ish. That's about it. That's when everything played out. And then when did you guys call the police to report them missing? I, After we searched yeah. a little bit around here, we it was dark, so we definitely were, we got worried. Uh, would, would you say it was maybe within an hour or a couple hours? No, it was within minutes of us getting finished up with our search. Okay. It was within minutes. Okay. What do you guys want people at home to understand? Um, about this situation for them, you know, even speaking about what you guys are feeling is difficult. What do you want them at home to understand about this whole situation? We're going through it. It's difficult. I, I mean, everybody's making their own, you know, their own conclusions. They don't know anything. We don't, we're not sure, exa like everything, we're not sure. We, we said what we knew, and if anybody has seen them, uh, or anything, please call the police department. Would you be willing to provide pictures, or do you have any? They, uh, I have older pictures. All my newest were on my phone. Okay. A lot of people are speaking of this as, you know, after the math, past tense. I want to talk about your kids in present tense. What kind of what kind of boys are these? Tell, tell us about the boys. Very playful, very rambunctious, and they do love to wrestle. They, they do love to kind of get rough with each They're other. They're kids. They're kids. Of course, they would love to go out, but we would, they, so during the pandemic, we weren't trying to go, you know, out here. And so we stay inside. Did you guys ever go out and search? Yes. yes, we did. We searched before we called the cops. That's that what you're was, telling That's what we yeah. were saying. What time did they come up missing? They came missing right before it got dark. <laughs> and then we called. I, I searched that property. I even drove around the, the whole, this neighborhood right here. I even talked to a gentleman on that side, on those streets over there. I said, did you see my some little black kids? And that way looking for them? That's the way I was going to come. But when I came back home, I decided to call the cops because it was dark. They couldn't have got away that fast. And, and why did it take two people to go in the house and leave? two kids out here by themselves. It should have been one parent going in and one parent right here watching the child. Not two parents going in the house oh, oh, and leaving so two little kids out here by themselves for 10 minutes. 